What's going on, fellow players? Uh, May 1st, May 1st, 2024. Really nice sunny day, birds are singing. I can't complain, life's pretty good. I'm out here today uh, to do a little spraying. And um, not, not spraying the chemical I thought I would originally spray, but uh, let's hop on the old uh, four-wheeler and head on down to the big hole and take a look at what is already growing there and then I'll explain a little bit on why I'm using the particular herbicide that I chose to use today. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, so we're down here in a big hole. And if you look behind me, it's pretty daggum green back there, isn't it? Um, so we took the water off of this April 1st. So water's been off of it a month. And it's starting to green up, and I'll give you a look at it here, but it appears to mostly be smartweed. This is a type of smartweed, this low stuff right here. But this is rice. As you remember, last year we had rice planted in here, right? Ducks didn't seem to eat it all that well. <laughs> but uh, we had rice in here. Now my original plan was to come in here about now, May 1st. Goal of planting is June 1st and hit it with glyphosate, right? Generic Roundup. But when I was in here this past weekend with Jim and Nate, I looked down and I could see rice growing everywhere. I'm, it's not as obvious now, even though I do see quite a bit of it, it's not as obvious now as it was, but I think that's because everything is greener. This little smart weed is starting to kick in. So I'm gonna put down 2,4-D instead of um, glyphosate. So why am I doing that? Well. First of all, why am I doing anything, right? Smart weed is, is typically known as a prime duck food. Well, we grew it in here two years ago, came in naturally, it was just flat full of it. I don't think it's a preferred variety of smart weed. Plants grew big, I mean, they were knee high, thigh high. They didn't make a lot of seeds. Um, there's a couple of different varieties. So what we think of as the good stuff is that Pennsylvania smart weed. I don't think that's what I have. There's another name for it. I've got a book actually, written by Dr. Mike Schumer and a couple other people. It's kind of a field guide, right, for moist soil plants, it's specific to the M Mississippi Louisville Valley, but it applies here. But um, as you can see right here, this is rice. If it's not rice, it's barnyard grass, which is a wild millet. So as I mentioned, I think in a previous video, or I know, I'm gonna go with Chihuahua millet this time. So I thought, It'd be nice to have a little bit of rice, and I was actually thinking about buying a little bit of rice seed to mix in, maybe about 25% rice, 75% chihuahua. Um, but then I looked in here and I thought, well, I've already got rice growing. So 2,4-D is safe to use on rice and millet. It's, it's something you put on grass to keep broadleaf weeds out of, your, out of your yard, right? I mean, obviously it's used in agriculture. I spot sprayed some areas last year with 2,4-D, this exact same product. I got it at uh, Tractor Supply. I'll put a link and a picture. I'll try to remember to do that so you guys can see exactly what I used. I mixed, I got 16 gallons over there. Uh, for an acre, they say you want to use a pint for an acre. That's the low end. Don't overdo it. I overdid it on my grass and it stunted it. It didn't kill the Bermuda grass, but it certainly hurt it. So don't overdo it. Um, but I am going to try to knock back the broadleaf stuff, uh, the smart weed that I don't think really helps me anyway. Also, I think. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, bad uh, for buckbrush, supposed to kill buckbrush. So there's some of these plants, you know, buckbrush kind of wants to keep growing. So where I've, even though I've cut the bushes down, it's still kind of growing up as well. So I'm going to spray that. Hopefully I can get back in there. I won't be able to get everywhere, which is going to be a shame. Um, but you know what, I'll do is do what I can. And if it doesn't work, if it isn't appearing to kill this stuff by the time I get ready to, well, in a couple of weeks, I want it to be um, dead before I plant, um, then I'll come back in with glyphosate and hit it with that. But hopefully, I'm gonna spray this down and come back in about a week and I'll see the smart weeds starting to die and the rice still staying healthy. So let me hop on the four-wheeler, you guys can watch if you want, and I'll start, uh, start doing some spraying.
right, that's it for the spraying today. I did actually go over and spray some on the bean hole. Um, and it's going to need Roundup because it's just overgrown with, I think, a bunch of undesirables. I hope I'm right that this is rice. I don't know. It could just be barnyard grass, which doesn't hurt my feelings. Uh, but I'm going to let this sit for a week, come back in and see what it looks like. If it looks like I have mostly, you know, bare dirt to dead vegetation, I'll, I'll leave it alone. But if I still see the majority of green, I'm probably going to throw some Roundup down. Um, just because I, I want to give that Chihuahua Miller the chance to compete, right? So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll show you, give you guys an update when I get around to it. Um, or when I, when the time comes, right? So that's it. It's just a quick little spray job today. Getting uh, everything ready to plant that, that millet coming up here in, in about a month. So still got some more clearing to do. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll get it done because it'll be here before I know it, right? So anywho, hey, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, please give me a, a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you will as well. It certainly helps me. But as always, you know me. I'm Bruce. You're watching Foul Play Outdoors.